What's going on guys? So I am over here in my geese pen, my Sevastopol geese's pen. And today basically what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my plans for the future as far as um, like pens, building pens for certain birds and types of birds and all that such. Please hit that subscribe button with the bell and subscribe to my other channels, Gaming After Dark, The Plant Guy, with the bell too, please. And yeah, let's start today's video, guys. So first of all, these are Sebastopol geese. You guys know I have these guys. But my plans are, so I have about, I'd say, 14 feet of clear space here from this uh, chicken thing that they that their food and stuff is in all the way to that cow panel thing right there, okay? That's like 14 foot of useful area, okay? I need this area over here for myself so I can walk over here, or I can just build it from starting that pole right there all the way to here, all the way. Now you may be asking, what am I going to build, uh -huh. So I'm going to be building a parrot shelf for Indian ringnecks, cockatiels, Conyers, um, Quakers, and about it, unless I fit some Amazons over here sometime in the near future. Um, obviously, uh, the Amazons will be farther away from uh, the rest of the birds because they are cheaper nowadays. But if you haven't seen the price of wood, then that's also insane too. But I'm planning on, so I'm probably going to put a post where that bowl is. A post for that white one standing and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put the post there so that bowl in where that white one's standing right there pretty much and it's gonna go from here all the way to there and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get like two by eights oh there's a lizard hello lizard hi okay he hates okay I want to go in the duck pen that's not a smart idea but okay um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to about like two by eights. They're like 16 foot long. I'm gonna get like four of them because it's gonna be rectangular. Now this is my ideas, my plans as far as how I'm gonna build this shelf. They're very interested. Uh, as far as how I'm going to build the shelf, and I'm planning on to ring that cages are. I'm gonna build my ring that cages about as wide or so as this thing so it's about four foot maybe a little bit smaller and about to probably three or maybe four foot high or so and i'm gonna run them double stacked uh, about two here about three foot or so off the ground double stacked one here one here one here one here one here one here and so on and so on until the end now i'm gonna do that again and i'm also gonna have another row here that i can walk through and i can go here feed water through the little um baskets for the food and water bowls that i'm gonna make and uh that's what i can do and then i can have their nesting boxes on the side so basically it'd be double stack still but a cage about a foot or so or more two three foot maybe between each cage so i can reach the nesting box and then the door in the front and all that stuff and have a pair of ringnecks in each and let me go that's what my plans with the ringnecks and amazons in the future now let me go show you where i'm going to put my cockatiels conyers and quakers my plans at least so right here it's about 20 foot long from starting at that barrel all the way to that cage where those guineas are and the cranes and everything all that stuff and what I'm gonna do here is pretty much the same thing I told you guys about my goose pin. I'm going to put like a, a post here, a post here, a post there, a post here, and a post there, and a post there. And I'm gonna have two bites running through here, a middle part in the middle of the shelf most likely. So I can want like three or so, three, three and a half foot or so, maybe between both rows of cages. So I can bring my little food cart in there with an empty bucket of food to dump the old food in and a new bucket of food to dump the new food in, obviously. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna have the little, the cages that I'm gonna use, it's one cage in whole, but four cages divided. They are perfect size to breed female, to breed 
cockatiels, Quakers, and Conyers. And there's 88 in total as divided cages, but there's 22 in total. So I'm probably going to do 10. Uh, there's 22, obviously, so I can do like 2, 4, 6, 8, um, 9 right here, one by itself, and then uh, 11, 13, 15, 17, and so on and so on. Just do rows, a couple rows of them. And how about my cockatiels, quakers, and conyers? Like I said, there's a total of 88 cages. Am I going to fill all 88 cages? Maybe. You never know with me. But guys, that's going to finish my video for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be trying to do some more videos on this channel. It's just I've been trying to think of ideas and haven't been able to do so. Well, guys, for now, bye. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell. And subscribe to my other channels, Game After Dark, The Plant Guide. They were always linked down below every single video I post, guys. Please subscribe with the bell to those, too. And I'll be doing some more content soon. I'm going to try to think of videos, obviously, and what I'm going to do. Because, obviously, it's going to be a little while until I can afford to buy at least some of the wood for one of these shelves. I don't know if I want to build the Indian ringneck one first. Or if I want to build the... um conure quaker and cockatiel one i could just combine them all on like one or two shelves guys but um that would be like hard to do because if i put all the indian ringnecks right to where those panels and everything are then i'd be crowded if i put all four different types of birds there so i'm just going to separate them into different spots you know so yeah for now guys Adios, me friends.